Welcome to the Twitch. Sorry I was late. I actually had an appointment at 8.30 this morning. So um, now I am here right after. How is everybody doing? I'm still getting my stuff all prepared. So good morning, everybody. If you are new here, this is the Twitch. I totally do morning horoscopes Monday through Friday. I'm usually 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have our cup of coffee and we rock the signs. So that's where we're at. We're going to just dive right in. If you like my vibe, follow and like me here on TikTok. Oh, that was or. And if you like me more, uh, like and follow me over on my YouTube or my Instagram. It is always important to like your creators and your readers on different platforms just in case one goes bo -dong. Okay? All right. So we're going to dive right in. If you guys are free this evening, please join me at um, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be coming on and doing individual reads for free. But morning is all about the Twitch and horoscopes. Okay. So that's where we're at. I like to make sure the daily energy is all good. How is everybody doing? So we're going to dive in. Cancers. What is the overall energy for Cancers today? Cancers. There could be a situation where there's a little bit of conflict going with your money. All right, I'm just going to call it what it is. So some of you Cancers, pay attention to your finances today or workplace situation. Um, I feel like there's an extra party that's a little... Uh, I'm just going to call it what it is. They're dramatic. They're a little extra. So um, just pay attention at work. There could be a little bit of confrontation. And to be honest, some of you guys, I feel are going to walk away from this job or this position. Because um, it doesn't, honestly, it's not like you couldn't get paid better somewhere else. Because uh, the truth's going to be revealed in the workplace. I don't know if some of you guys are waiting on a promotion or an uptick. But it seems like... Um, all that glitters is in gold is fucking for Micah, bro. So uh, that is kind of the hindrance today. The positive on that, though, is if you guys do choose, you actually are going to have another situation or a, I'm just going to call it what it is. You're going to have a better possibility coming your way. Okay, um, because I don't feel like whatever is going on at this job, it doesn't serve you. You're not even being appreciated for your, for your work. I'll just call it what it is. Um. So some of you guys could be leaving a job today, but it is for the better. It is what serves your highest purpose. For some of you guys, um, when it comes to, oh, there's going to be an end of a cycle. Oh, goodness. Death came out. So for me, that's the end of a cycle, dealing with pentacles. Or you can be dealing with somebody, a moochie. All right, we'll just call it what it is. If some of you guys are dealing with someone at a job or there's like a lack of appreciation, there's somebody in your personal life that is not appreciating all the hard work and the things that you do, okay? Um, and they're totally taking advantage of the situation that you're a giver and that you really aren't asking for a lot of the receiving back other than some appreciation and they're not showing it to you. Um, I feel like this energy, honestly, is kind of a selfish ass. I'm just going to call it what it is. And... For some of you cancers, you're calling it out today. All right. You're over the cycle. You're done with it. You don't want to deal with this anymore um, because you realize that you're worth way more than that. And you want that stability and you want that understanding, that mutual understanding with somebody that you are in a sh situation ship with. Um, so, yeah, this is all based on pentacles. I mean, I really do not see much other than career. Hi, I got family in Tennessee. Hello from Michigan. So, um, yeah, definitely pay attention to your pentacles today. Double check that bank account, too. For some of you cancers, there could be an unexpected bill or expense that is coming out. So, cancers, pay attention. Okay? That is what I have for you guys. There's really not much when it comes to singles. If you're single, I see y'all still staying single, kind of just focusing on your stability and finances. Um... The ones that are in a situationship or not really content with their career path, your possibility and your opportunity is totally going to be. So, all right. That's what we have for cancer. Sorry, guys. I was hoping for a way better, like, yay. But that's an uptick, too. Cancers, if you stand your head down or you stand your head up, like, you're going to get the rewards. 
I am wonky today, so if I ain't resonating with everybody, I am totally sorry, but this is bullshit. So, hi. I actually just spoke with somebody. That's so funny that Orlando came up, because I was seriously talking to one of my friends yesterday, and that's, uh, she's like, I'm totally going there for vacation. We talked about Florida for like 20 minutes, so, yep. I have never been to Florida. Leo. Leo, you are stepping back into your power, but holy shit, are you a nervous Nelly? Okay, there is a whole life transition that is coming your way, Leos, and I'll just call it what it is. You guys have been putting in the work from, like, months ago, and all these things are actually going to be starting to come into fruition, Leos, okay? Um, actually, no, I haven't. I started at Cancer. And I just go through the loop. Every month, I will change it or whatever cycle we're in as far as our signs. So after the 22nd, it will be on, um, it will be on Leo. So, yeah, but I am on Leo's right now. So, Leo's, huge life transition. I see the pentacles coming up, your stability coming up. Not only just the stability of your external world, but the... Honestly, the confidence boost that you, some of you Leos need for this next phase of your life. Because not only are you guys walkers and talkers, you guys are doers and showers and growers. And going into all these things, but there is this mind hindrance, all right, Leos? Um, this is somebody that you are dealing with in your personal life that is really kind of going all over the place and making your mind wander. You're not sure about this certain choice or this certain person, whether you are in a stable environment, whether this is just a situation ship, whether it's just fuck Betty Bob. Okay. So, but right now I really feel like, sp yeah, spirit is saying to kind of just stay in the motion of doing what is best for you and pay attention to the things that are actually becoming fruitful in your life right now. Um, this situation, dealing with this other person, shows stagnancy and not even a complete togetherness at all in this spread. The togetherness that I do see is the togetherness of self. So when you go into this next phase involving this career or this huge creative project, that's popping up as well. For So for some of you Leos that are entrepreneurs or business people, you are going to actually come up with an amazing idea within the next like week or two. And it's going to click. I mean, it's not only going to click for you, it's going to click for the audience that you're trying to reach or the goals that you are trying to attain for your life. Um, for some of you, there is a huge career change. This is a career that you are going to follow through for years. This is going to be a, a lot of fruition your way, a lot of stability, a lot of the things that will help create this balance. Um, but spiritually saying, focus on yourself today, Leos, and the things that you want to do. Don't let this internal, this external energy really downplay the high vibe tribe that you are feeling inside and out today. You guys should be proud of yourself. Okay. I've been to St. Louis. Hello, St. Louis. So yeah, because if you focus too much of your energy on this external energy, Leo's, you are going to feel very off balance today. And what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? You know what I mean? So really focus on your self care and your love today. Look at yourself in the mirror, Leo's and go, I got this shit. This isn't hot dog water vibes. I am not hot dog water vibes. I am high vibe tribe. Just give yourself a little bit of kudos. Okay. Y'all been busting your ass. I'll just call it what it is. Y'all been busting. Be proud and hold those shoulders high and hold that head high because y'all fucking deserve it. All right, Leos. That is what I have for your guys' energy today. I liked Leo's reading, dude. Cancers was a little sad. I'm sorry, Cancers. I feel for some of you Cancers, though, even because I'm going back and this is just like an intuitive message. Some of you Cancers are actually going to have a huge shift by October. Some of y'all aren't even going to be in the same locations. You guys will be moving and moving far. So, all right, Virgos. What is the energy for Virgos today? Can you guys see the orbs? Am I the only one that is seeing the orbs? Like, that is not dust. I'm telling you right now, that is not dust. So, when orbs come in, regardless if I'm doing a horoscope or not, there's a male energy that is here, okay? He's in his mid-20s. Um, I heard car accident. 
So, and he's relatively, like, young. He has really dark, almost blackish hair. Um, he's got a very defined tattoo on his forearm as well. I can't tell if it's, like, prayer hands or it's involving the cross, but it's, like, right here on his arm. just her cousin so if somebody has lost somebody recently or within the past like year is really what I'm feeling um and this sounds like your cousin let me know message me so all right Virgos Virgos he's a really good soul though and this is a very quick thing um there's somebody who was wondering if this is if this spirit is attached to you um or is resonating for you and the question was, was it quick? Yes. Okay. Virgo, what is the energy for Virgo? Virgo. Virgo, you are letting go of some freaking deceit. Holy crap. Okay, so this is a really scattered read, Virgos. I'm just going to call it what it is. This is a pretty scattered read. So, because there's like a truth revealed in a situation. And this has to do with your home life and your stability. Um, For some of you Virgos, there's been some financial loss. There's going to be a resurgence in that, okay? But it's really about letting go of this energy that is kind of weighing you down. Um, there's an illusion that's going to be revealed, moon in reverse. So even though there's been this illusion and kind of the things cover up, kind of like a puppet on a string, I'll just call it what it is, puppet on a string. This is about to get revealed because this energy has completely drained you, okay? And I'm not just talking on a mental level. Like... This situation, person, place, or thing has drained your energy as far as your motivation. I even feel for some of you guys, it's actually physically causing you ill as well. Um, because you're putting so much of your time and energy into a situation that you cannot fix nor, nor have the responsibility to fix. That's on them, not you, Virgos. All right, I'm just going to call it what it is. And honestly, I feel like this energy has really hindered you. All right, I'm like, I'm looking at your pentacles in reverse. I'm seeing your stability in reverse, which is crazy because for half of you guys in the collective, it shows how much you guys have been busting your ass to get to where you are now. There's been so much spiritual growth. There's been so much internal energy. There's been so much help with the community. There's going to be all these things that are going to come into fruition, but it's really allowing the ego of you know, I can do this. I can fix this to kind of like let it slide and realize these, this is Western, um, Vedic. I am not a hundred percent familiar with, but I am learning. I'm a, you know, I'm a very honest person. I'll just call it what it is. And once you stop learning, you become arrogant and that's not true. You can always learn. So <clears throat> Virgos, there's some of you guys that really need to release this energy and it's actually going to uptick in your financial department and your stability, but it, but it's really going to take the release of this. And I it, like, even if the release of this is, yo, I can't hang out with you for like 12 hours today. Can we only chill for like an hour? I got A, B, C, and D to do. Okay. So really in this spread today, I feel like a lot of self-care is needed and boundary placement is needed for you guys today, Virgos, because some of you guys are about to head into this whole new transition if you allow the things to happen. The way that they, you know, just allow it to flow the way it's supposed to and protect your energy and place your boundaries. Because you do have the things able to come into fruition, okay? Um, if some of you guys are dealing with some sort of legality, tests, exams, pay attention to the trick questions or read between the lines is a big thing that I'm hearing for your Virgos right now. Um, especially when it's dealing with contracts or some sort of paperwork or litigations, okay? So... Pay attention to that gray area, the shit out of these things, okay? I'm just going to call it what it is. As far as the internal energy, you're going to get through this. But today, it's really about understanding you, your worth, and what you're going to be about, and where you want to place your energy. 
Do you want to place it in a place of made a quick stand or do you want it laid on concrete? You know, that's really, I think, the conflict of interest and the things that are going to be coming into your thought processes today, Virgo. Okay. Um, some of you guys pay attention to your gastrointestinal. Okay. There's some issues going on there. Um, whether it is, and I also feel for some of you guys, it's like also lower back pain as well. Dealing with sciatics, things of that nature. But for a lot of you Virgos, I'm feeling like there is some sort of stomach issues going on. Um, I do feel like even certain allergies could be coming into this. You know what I mean? So pay attention to your guys' body. If your body's telling you to chill, chill the fuck out. It's okay, Virgos. But boundary placement is needed. And the overall spread, boundary placement is needed. All right. So that's just what I have for you, Virgos. I do not do pregnancy. All right. All right. All right. Libras, what are we doing for our scaly scales today? How are our scaly scales? And how is everybody doing? I'm about to take my cup of coffee. My, my second drink of the day. I don't know, man. And then if you like me, like... Just wait, there's so much more that's going to come to Twitches, okay? Um, individual reads, I actually do a podcast as well. So, you know, always check me out if you guys are totally interested in my vibe. I totally love the TikTok vibe. I ain't going to lie. I enjoy doing the Twitch with you guys in the morning and interacting with you guys from all over the world. So, love it. I love it, guys. Libras. Oh, shit, Libras. You are walking away because you are collecting your cups. All right, Libras, there has been a situation that you've been really silent about, okay? Everybody is dealing with finances right now. This is a huge shift. Um, yesterday, it was a lot of emotional. Today, it seems to be like a lot of, lot of us are focused on the finances and where we need to go and what we need to do as far as our future stability. And Libras, you ain't no different, okay? So... I actually just finished Virgo. So, Libras, there is a situation where you actually put your foot down and you're walking, you know, you place that boundary and it's actually going to go in your favor, okay? So, I feel for some of you Libras, if you guys are in a management position or you're going on to this next level as far as like your business or management, things of that nature, you're actually going to be... um. I'm not going to say admire for it, but you're going to be appreciated for it. Like, you're going to be acknowledged for your hard work and your determination in this situation. Um, Because I'll be honest with you, there's some of you guys where you are truly appreciated when it comes to workforce. They know that you are the ones that keep the balance and, you know, allow those things to come into fruition. You have those key moments. You have these things. But it's about really having the balance for yourself, Okay. Um, I feel in home life as well, if you guys are in a situation shift, there's actually going to be an uptick in communication, okay? If there's been this sort of stagnancy or feeling like there's been this, like, I'm, I'm going to call it the gray matter, and y'all know what I'm talking about, the fucking sticky, you know? And you're just like, we cannot communicate. It's been zing, zang, and just, there's going to be a conversation, okay, that's actually going to bring this situation shift to a better place of communication and uptick in the and stability, okay. For some of you guys, though, I feel like right now the guides are saying it's time to rebalance, okay. Hello, everybody coming in. So it's time to regain the balance of work life and home life, okay. Right now, I feel for a lot of you Libras, you've been taking the time and internalizing the things that you feel and the things that you want to say because you are so into the motion of getting shit done, okay. Give yourself a break today. If some of you guys are able to take a moment, sit back and take that.